the world 2020 champions india uh, chetan what's your take we've been discussing what went wrong for india in today's match what you have to say what didn't go wrong ye batao na tum kya kya what didn't all of you so you asked me what went wrong ab main ek ek karke list banaunga to yaar world cup khatam ho jayega tab tak ah look i think uh, pure and simple it was a t20 cricket lesson from england to india they showed how t20 cricket should be played uh, india doesn't know how to play t20 cricket uh, simple example uh, you look at them using wrist spinners today on this ground with shorter boundaries india used finger spinners they didn't even bother touching moin ali they showed how openers batter our opener instead of going hard one of our openers who scored two half centuries instead of going hard at the ball he's he's flicking the ball in t20 cricket are you sure and then the other opener of course he was struggling for timing so 38 runs from the power play we lost the game there uske baad it was hardik pandya who gave us a fighting score but england's batting was just so good the way butler and hales batted on that pitch on that surface india's bowling pace bowlers especially had a weakness that if they were hit they would have no plan b little da showed that last week nothing improved since then and of course it won't improve because it is their weakness it is it is their weakness vinith and i have discussed it a hundred times i've written so many articles about it it was their weakness mohammad shami is not a t20 bowler bhuvneshwar kumar he's past his sell by date so it's it was not a surprise that they were beaten like this and uh, after that there was no recovery the spinners were taken for runs spacers were taken for runs फैंस को बोलिंग करनी पड़ती है ज़्यादा यही रहेगा था बस कोई इंटरेस्ट इधर फैंस को भी बोलिंग करना पड़ा थोड़ा कैचिंग भी करा लेते but chetan i mean wow. this was something before you joined and uh, this was uh, something i touched upon we also you have also in fact you know come up with this thing it was it comes down right to the planning of it right i mean uh, pakistan game we were saved by kohli uh, surya kumar yadav that 68 he scored uh, against south africa went in vain because he ultimately lost and the two 50s that he scored was against the weaker opponents and there was nothing else to write home about uh, kl rahul or beat adinesh kartik or beat hardik pandya of course this game but no nothing much in the entire tournament it it felt like it was a virat kohli surya kumar yadav show and it it felt i mean this was a game if you know uh, you needed you needed that more players to chip in yes hardik pandya did but from a bowling point of view as you mentioned i mean yeah rajesh uh, ashwin aksar patel you might as well have tried a uh, yujwendra chahal as you know you did with uh, england did with adil rashid and they gambled him with surya kumar yadav and they got that wicket and that wicket ultimately for me i think was a crucial turning point in the entire match uh yeah i thought uh, the way adil rashid bowled on this pitch was really exceptional uh, at first it seemed like you know why isn't why on the indian batsman hitting him and rohit sharma tried obviously he wasn't timing it well but there didn't seem to be a coherent plan i mean and and then you saw liam livingston bowl so well and then you realized that there was actually a lot of grip on the surface but again yeah it was a, it was a grip that was exploited by the wrist spinners was that grip there for the off spinners we don't know but india's off spinners or finger spinners i mean akshar patel is a finger spinner ashwin is a finger spinner india's finger spinners have struggled throughout this tournament so it was not a surprise that they struggled here i think India made two selection calls. One was Rishabh Pant over Dinesh Karthik. It was the right call, but it was really unfair on Rishabh Pant that you bring him to a yeah. semi-final. You expect him to finish the knock. Just like six months after Dinesh Karthik, you are playing with him. There was no business. Dinesh Karthik had no business being in this World Cup. Let me be honest. You have given him a Disneyland ticket. He was enjoying his Disneyland. Nothing more. Nothing more. Um, and uh, Rishabh Pant played should have been India's middle order choice, wicket keeper choice. I don't know how they left him on the bench. Big mistake. But today they made the right selection call, even if it was unfair on Rishabh Pant. Um, the one thing that I would say is that Akshar Patel's selection was the wrong one. They picked him because he could bat a bit. No, they should have played Yusvendr Chahal. In fact, they should have picked Yusvendr Chahal against Zimbabwe, uh, given him a bowl. See how he goes, and then made a choice between. But the way they made a choice between Pant and DK. Pant or DK. You have six months with DK. You have experimented with it, and then you have changed the semi-final. Similarly, you have experimented with it. Akshar Patel didn't work. You have given a match to Chahal. And then you could have made a decision there. I'm not saying they could not have picked Akshar Patel. I'm not saying they could not have picked Akshar Patel. I'm not saying they could not have picked Akshar Patel. I'm not saying they could not have picked Akshar Patel. I'm not saying they could not have picked Akshar Patel. I'm not saying they could not have picked Akshar Patel. I'm not saying they could not have picked Akshar Patel. I'm not saying they could not have picked Akshar Patel. I'm not saying they could not have picked Akshar Patel. I'm not saying they
I don't think they thought about it, and I don't think, and I have felt this for a long time that Rohit Sharma does not have confidence in Yuzvendra Chahal the way Virat Kohli had confidence in Yuzvendra Chahal. So, um, her captain ki apni apni preferences hoti hain, but bahut saare sawal kare hote hain aaj ki defeat se. 2024 ka World Cup hai, lot of planning to do, and the questions should be asked to the selection committee as well. I think the selection committee should be fired on the spot, not give them chance till the next World Cup, and and. For the T20 format, I think the time is right that we have a different selection committee and somebody who is in sync with the way the modern T20 cricket game is played. And I'm going to say this again and again. England gave us a lesson in how the modern day T20 cricket is played.